What is up you guys, MT Steve here with another video, another week. Right, you might be wondering what's the bike this week? Right, so today is a bit of a different one. We've got a Harley Davidson Sport Glide. So this is definitely a different bike than I would usually ride. It's different, a little bit out of my comfort zone. I wanted to try something different, you know, to a wider audience. Right, let's try and get the facts, specs and whatnot. So this is a 2020 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. This is 1800cc. It's a V-twin, air-cooled. Everything's completely standard on it. Nothing's been changed, just completely standard. The way, the way you see it is the way it comes. It's got four pot single disc front brake. It's got a single Twin pot rear brake, ABS in the rear, no ABS in the front, take that in mind. What do I think about these bikes? What do I think about the Harleys in general and what do I think about cruisers? They're different, they're not my type of style, but they're different. I'm not saying that they're bad bikes, they're just different. Everyone has different opinions, everyone has different riding styles. So this will be a bit of a... Um, learning experience for me so i'll be happily happily ride it and give you my honest opinion on what this bike is actually you know capable of and just give my honest opinion about these bikes you know like some people might give trash on it some say some people might give absolutely shit on it but at the end of the day everyone has different opinions on different bikes some people might like hypernaker some people might like might like sport bikes some people might like laydowns uh, well laydowns well sport bikes or some people might like um uh, cruisers so everyone has different tastes everyone has different opinions this has obviously these side panels or well, saddlebags sorry very nice side of saddlebags which is actually really nice you open it up it's got quite a lot of storage in here and the cool thing about this is you twist this upwards and the whole thing just comes off same with the front this has quick connectors here which you take off and the bike looks completely different. Doesn't look, it doesn't look like the same bike. Let's close it back up. So this has 89 brake horsepower and 107 foot-pounds of torque. I'll put the specs on, on the screen here or somewhere here or somewhere here. So then you can actually see the specs of what it actually is. I might be wrong, but I tried to have a little research beforehand before obviously riding the bike. I'll start it up so you can listen to what it sounds like. So like I said, complete sound exhaust, it's not loud, which is actually quite nice. It's, it's not overly loud, it's nothing crazy. So this is um, a keyless bike, so you need a, th a fob to obviously start it up, which he has it in one of the panel bags whilst I'm riding. This does have the new engine which she's just told me that um, doesn't vibrate as much which on the way down here I was actually really 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 surprised how smooth it actually was it wasn't vibrating it wasn't vibrating your hands your legs it was really really smooth which I actually really enjoyed the the lean angle I think is 36 degrees I'm 36 or 33 degrees something along those lines is the lean angle otherwise you'll start hitting pegs but yeah I'll give it a few revs so you, so you can hear the bike So, you know, it's got a nice grunt to it. It's got a nice deep grunt. Obviously, with an exhaust, it'll sound different. But the way it is now, you can hear the... You can actually hear the engine and what, it's, or what it sounds like, which is really nice. But, yeah. It's got LED, obviously, front headlight. Like I said, it, it def it's, definitely, it's definitely a bike, which surprised me by the looks of it. You know, it's got a nice orange colour to it. You know, oil cooler at the front. Chrome everywhere, which... It really, really does suit the bike really well. It's a nice looking bike. I'll admit that, it's a very nice looking bike. I'll see you guys on the next clip whilst I'm sitting down, giving me my opinions on sitting down and whatnot. So I'll see you guys on the next clip. Right guys, so we're on the bike now. I'm five foot eight. I can flat foot it both sides. Flat foot it. Knees are a little bit bent, not, not the tallest person in the world, but I can bend my feet, which is quite nice. Pegs, quite far forward, they're not too far forward, my, my leg is still bent. 
the view is perfectly fine your arms aren't too stretched out you still got a little bit of bend to them clutch feels really nice front brake it's really smooth all right let's start this bad boy up starts right up very nice A very nice bike, like I said before, it's, it's really smooth to what I was thinking it would be. Turning circle isn't the greatest, but it's good enough. Indicators on both sides, so turn right is on the right side, turn left is on the left side. It's got cruise control, horn, front headlight obviously, high beam, low beam. For 317 kilos, it's not as bad as you would think. So that's only down there. So it's really comfortable, you know. Like I have to admit, like Harley's, like there's some Harley's which are a little bit uncomfortable, which are very vibrating, but this is, it's really, you're really relaxed. You're not like properly back you know you're actually like in a nice comfortable position to where you know it feels really enjoyable to ride but yeah like i said it's it's not um you know the lean angle isn't like wow like you can lean so much like you know like a, a, a naked whatever like i said these are specifically for cruising not abusing the bike you know like i said there's only revs up to five five and a half five six which is perfectly fine for these type of engines anyway it's not the fastest thing in the world like like you would think it's not the fastest thing but it's definitely comfortable i can see why people ride these and like i said it's proper smooth you don't get any rumble whatsoever let me know what you guys feel about these type of bikes if you've got one etc Like I said, it's totally different to what we do on normally ride. There are obviously other brands, you know, like Indian, um, obviously Harley Davidson's one of them. I'm not too much of a, I'm not, I'm, I'm not too sure what other brands do to these type of bikes. Obviously, like Yamaha and, and whatnot, they they've done like cruiser type of bikes, but these obviously these have originated from like cruiser bikes so so these have always been cruiser bikes it's very comfortable as well I'll definitely have to try the cruise control see how that feels obviously if you do like this video please share it with whoever you want obviously like the video down below thumbs up subscribe for weekly well weekly try to do as much as I can weekly content for you guys so you guys are always up to date with what I'm doing let me know what kind of bikes to, to ride. Obviously, let me know what kind of bikes you want me to ride, etc. If there's some sort of bike you want me to ride, just let me know. Obviously, my Instagram and all that is down below in the description, so just check it out in the description. MT Steve SP, that's, that's literally it. Like I said, it's a very talky bike, you know, like, so if, if you want to give it some, like, if you're, if you're on a motorway or whatnot, like, if you want to just, like, give it some, you can, and, it, and it's got enough torque to, like I said, it's got 100, 107 foot-pounds of torque, which is more than enough to propel you forward to, you know, get to where you're going, it's... Obviously, 
Also, you don't have uh, like the speakers and more lot like, like the other Harleys do. Obviously, these are belt driven, which is quite smooth. It's definitely a smooth. Definitely smoother than obviously chain and whatnot. Gears are definitely smooth as well. Yeah, they're very clunky, but they're very smooth. I really do enjoy the the gear changes. I'm not too sure what what how many gears it actually has. Three, four, five. Six. Also, it's got six gears. So this will be perfect for obviously the motorway or whatnot. You can just cruise. Yeah, cruise controls activated. So, like you know, you, you, you can just cruise and have no handlebars, which is quite nice. You know, especially on the motorway, you can just cruise along, not not have to worry. Also, you have to pay attention to obviously your surroundings, brakes and whatnot. But as soon as you go onto the brakes, you know the cruise control stops. And as soon as you go, you click the button again, click down. And it's, it goes back onto it again, which is really nice. And you can just cruise along. So this would be very nice in, obviously, like I said, in if you're going away, long trips, put it on cruise control and just ride. Like I said, it does get up and go, so it's not it's not a slow bike. In terms of Harley Davidson's anyway, it's not as slow as, as you'd think. It's got enough it's got enough to really put you in your seat. A nice day in Jersey. A little bit cloudy, but it doesn't, it doesn't it, as far as I'm aware from weather forecast, it's not gonna rain. As far as I'm aware anyway. Oh no, a little bit of traffic. Which is always nice, a little bit of traffic, why not? I do like the Harleys, or I, th I think the Harleys anyway. The Harleys that um, I know a lot of people in America, they uh, they stunt stunt uh, stunt them out. They got like short like uh, short like a uh, rear fender. They got scrape bars and, and whatnot. They're pretty cool. I, I I do I do like them. If if I had to ride or choose like a Harley to ride, it would definitely be like one of them like sportsters type of looking thing. Because um, you can change them from um, 
you can change them from uh, dr uh, from belt to, to chain. I'll see if you want to like stunt, stunt and all that. But they're definitely one of the bikes that I would I would have if if I had the opinion or if, or if I had the the opportunity to own one. I'd definitely own one of them type of bikes. It's not too much of a cruiser. You can still, you know, have fun on it and whatnot. So this tank, so this is a, um, it's a 19 litre tank, if I can remember on the specs. It's a 19 litre tank, which is, which is quite nice, you know. Plenty of fuel for, for big long journeys. So I do want to say thank you, a uh, big thank you to obviously the person who has lent me this bike. He's uh, he's told me that he doesn't really let anyone on this bike, and I'm probably like the second or third, second person to actually get onto his bike. So this is his baby. So I I fully respect his his um, his bike. I, I like you know I respect I, I really respect him to obviously let me ride the bike in the first place. And, uh, and obviously telling me that I can ride it because uh, these uh, well this one anyway this well you can buy these new for 15 like brand spanking new 15 second hand they go between um, 11 995 to uh, to approximately like a 13 second hand so it's still a bit pricey for you know it's still a bit pricey but the comfort you're actually getting out of it is really nice. You can also adjust the, the preload. So down here below on next to the exhaust, you can change the preload. So you can have it softer, harder, whatnot. We're down at St. Urban's Bay. Quite busy down here. So uh, the person that obviously let me this bike, here's part of um, here's part of a of a Harley Davidson crew here in in Jersey Channel Island. So he does. Uh, so he's part of uh, part of the club. Cause there is a big following for that over here. So. There's always been a quite big following for these type of bikes anyway. Which is, you know, if someone wants to get into one of these bikes, at least you know you've got, you know, other people around you that will help you to the right decision, you know, right decision making what bike you want. I think this has been a long enough video for you guys. Don't want to make it too long or too boring with me rambling on. Stop right here give you one final look of the bike so you know what it actually looks like so obviously went straight to the plate but yeah so this is what it looks like so like i said it's a 1800 cc bike sounds really nice 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 chrome on the wheels as well but yeah obviously please do obviously like subscribe share do what you need to do share it with your friends and obviously comment down below what you think if you've got one and um, yeah, thank you very much guys for obviously watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.